हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू अवर ओरिकल एपेक्स टूटोरियल सीरीज आई एम थ्रिल टू हैव यू हियर टूडे एज वी डाइव इन टू वन ऑफ द मोस्ट एक्सेक्टिंग पार्ट ऑफ ओरिकल एपेक्स द एप बिल्डर इफ यू ज्वाइनिंग फॉर अस द फर्स्ट टाइम अ वार्म वेलकम टू यू आई सजेस्ट टेकिंग अ लिटिल टाइम टू वॉच अवर प्रीवियस वीडियो दे विल गिव यू अ ग्रेट स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट एंड हेल्प यू टू गेट द मोस्ट आउट ऑफ टूडे सेशन यू कैन फाइंड दैम ऑल इन अवर चैनल डोंट वरी आई विल वेट फॉर यू All right let's talk about what we are doing today the app builder in oracle apex is a powerful place it's where your idea and creativity comes to life in a form of web application whether you are looking to build something from simple or more complex app the app builder is your go to tool today we are going to start with the basic i will show you around the app builder explain its main features and we will even start setting up a basic application together by the end of our time today you will have a clear vision understanding and how app builder works and how you can use it to turn your ideas into a real application functioning web application so let us start this exciting journey into a world of oracle apex app builder so we will explore each of them step by step uh so starting from create uh, we will click over here on the create now we have a option to create our application first of all we will give a name to our application which is a uh, demo then we have a uh, id for our application which is a sequence uh, which is given by oracle apex itself we have a option to give a sequence by own as, as of now we can give it by own as well but we will choose the sequence which is given by oracle itself then we have multiple option as well over here copying a existing application we can uh, copy existing application which is in our workspace then we have browse app in gallery we can uh, browse from a gallery which is uh, allotted us by the oracle itself then we have create app from quick sql then create app from file uh, which is basically like uh, we have d2k and report and forms so we if we have a xml file we can convert it into a report and form in oracle apex as well uh, so as of now we are not covering this advanced level options uh, we will we will directly jump into a create application so i will click over here create application So you can see, uh, you can see, uh, application has been created. Now, as of now, we are on the back end. Uh, when I click over the run button, it will directly take me to the front end. Uh, as of now, we have not created any uh, authorization uh, function uh, for a specific application. So it is asking for us login credentials, which is similar to what we have for the workspace. so you have to insert the same workspace credential for application as well which is on your gmail id so i will directly click over here sign in and you can see on the front end we have an application ready uh, which is with the name demo so as of now we haven't created anything yet so it is blank and here we have app page 1 session debug quick edit this is basically a bar for developers to create to edit something so we will we will talk it about uh, later on so we will go back we will go back into this option so we have explored the run option uh, then we will talk about supporting objects supporting object are basically the object uh, which is introduced by oracle apex for uh, option we are uh, if if i import or export this application from workspace one workspace to another workspace so this application has some dependency like tables procedure functions and without that dependency this application cannot work and it will give us a, a error so uh, to to resolve that issue uh, basically oracle give us this option of supporting object uh where we can attach that supporting object with this application so at the time of exporting uh, that application uh, it will automatically uh, link all the supporting object with the application and at the time of importing it will ask us that uh, application has been up importing and you want to import supporting object as well so if we say yes it will automatically import table function procedure as well so it won't give you error on the another workspace 
so we will we will uh, see how it works so i will click over here supporting objects then we go directly into installation script so here as of now we don't have any script ready so i click over here create then we will select from create from database objects then here i can give a name uh, like tables as of now i am creating a script for tables so i will select from here as of now you can see procedure sequence table trigger uh, if we have a function then you'll have functions and many more so as of now i am selecting only tables i want to create a script for tables only so it will give me all the tables name in this schema so i want to create a script for this table and this table this table you have to press ctrl and then select with the with the click so i have taken all these tables and then i have click over here so you can see the selected tables are here and then next so now you can see the script is uh, getting ready it will take some time to create a script so once the script has been ready you can see the script has been ready all the all the table has been create table script is ready for all the tables now what we have to do is so you can see all the tables are here so now we have to do is create once i click over here create so you can see the script has been ready so likewise you can you can create your own script as well and you can attach it with your application and uh, then at the time of importing it will automatically attach with your application and at the time of uh, uh importing uh, it will ask you to whether you want to import supporting object as well so you can either enable it or disable it as per your convenience so this is supporting object now we will we will explore a uh, shared component what is shared component shared component is basically a and whole and soul of application uh, it's you can say a basic main center of application uh so we have a dedicated uh, video for this uh, shared component uh, topic where we will explore all the section of shared component like application logic security other component navigation and search user interface file and report data source workflow globalizations because basically all of them are uh, individually uh, uh, you can brief topics which we have to cover so you can think about it as a sheet component is a whole and soul for any application and it a warehouse for any application so we will create a dedicated video for shared component where we will discuss about all the component of shared component so as of now we are not exploring this uh, in this video we are only covering app builder from a high level uh, then we have utilities uh, so utilities are basically the utility page feature link the summarize and report that enable developer to view an application from various perspectives and uh, if you want to understand utilities basically you can go to the docs you can click over here learn more and in this doc you can see all the component and learn about it and go through the each component step by step as of now we are not uh, covering this one in this video because this is something which is not that much important uh, then we will go into the export and import option so which which will be a part of uh, app builder only import and export so we will click over here import option so in import option you can see drag and drop so basically uh, when i will click over here in the drag and drop option so it will ask me to uh, select any of the application as per my convenience so i want to i want to import this application as of now so before importing any application let's let's export any application so will you will get a better understanding of uh, how we can export and import then so we will cancel this out and we will first export any uh, application so you can see uh first of all you have to go to app builder then you have to click over here export once you click over here export you will get an interface like this one application as of now you can see all the application in this workspace are listed over here so as of now we have multiple application with the name demo you can select any of the application like i have taken this one 
here we have a multiple options to select like split it into multiple files as of now it will give us into uh, only one file uh, but we can split it into multiple file as well uh, then we have public report private report something which is or uh, uh, you can see our advanced level uh, we will talk about it later on but as of now you don't have to uh, click over here you just have to click over here export click update you can see it has been uh, exported so th this is something which which is very easy uh, to export now we will go to uh, import option so as of now we will click over here drag and drop this file uh, which we have exported right now only i will select this one so we have multiple option over here application page and component export plugin theme export user interface default team development and feedback rest source catalog so as of now we are uh, importing our applications so i have selected this one in case you are importing plugin or theme export you can select this one or this one so we will select application page or component then i will click over here next So now you have seen that it has already uh, prefetch all the data from the application like the application ID, the name and whatever uh, it requires. But here we have three options auto assign new application ID, reuse application ID uh, from the imported application or change application ID. This is something which is important to understand as of now auto assign new application ID means uh, it will be changed by the sequence of a uh, new generated application id by oracle apex id uh, if you want to do it you can directly click over here and install application in case you want to reuse that application id you can click over here and in case you have a dedicated application id you want to give it you can click over here and give a dedicated application id to that uh, new application you can give it likewise so as of now i am i am selecting this one auto assign a new application id and click over here install application so see installing application now uh, now you can see application installed successfully now i will run my application so now i will run my application sign in so you can see my application is working completely fine so likewise we can directly uh, export and import the application within the same workspace as well so as of now we have explored uh, create import export all three options of app builder now we will go into workspace utility so workspace utility is basically a page contain link to common workspace utility such as define application default managing news workspace theme and more uh, if you want to understand it better you can go to this link basically a oracle apex doc where you can uh, understand it better you can uh, go in deeper to understand uh, what workspace utilities are you can see what is oracle apex views which are predefined what is workspace theme oracle's groups uh, remote work uh, web credentials uh, so in this video we are covering important topics only uh, if you want to go into deeper about uh, workspace utilities and want a dedicated video in this one you can comment below in the comment section we will create a dedicated video in in this also so thank you so much for being with us uh, till the end of this video uh, if you like this video please uh, tell us in the comment section also uh, looking forward to you into the next chapter of this tutorial series thank you so much meanwhile you can follow us on our social media handles